everyone, uh, my name is Sylvain Rochon. I love to get people excited at expanding their human experience using cutting edge technology. That's all I am about. And I'm here for another week of uh, discussion about uh, technology specifically. In this case, again, uh, a little bit of science, a little bit of technology, a little bit of philosophy today because we'll be talking about AI and the question whether uh, we are still really going to be simulating humans or creating synthetic humans in some way, shape, or form. So, uh, and, and I did write a blog about it to talk about a little bit more like the technical stuff. I, I want to talk about a, a bit more about the philosophical aspects of it because we will have to encounter this um, really shortly the, the blog post is linked below along with uh, some of the articles that i'm going to well the topics i'm going to be uh, that are related to some of the, the topics i'm going to be discussing here um like right now for example we have uh, j just to illuminate we are able to uh to, to have very smart ai that are able to data mine to do a lot of work task stuff this is you know simul uh, trying to simulate human uh behavior like a human worker for example to and do it even and doing it some of the tasks better than a human would faster because computers are designed to do very very repetitive mundane tasks faster uh than a human brain which is a lot more creative and emotional uh so do, you know mining through millions of sets of data is is much better suited to a computer than to a human being for example so it simulates human being but does it better because it's more suited uh, but we also are trying to simulate humanity by having computers, for example, uh, understand the tone of a conversation now. Uh, also detect emotions, detect uh, whether a person uh, looks more like a criminal, not looks, but is a criminal, because there are official uh, recognition bits that, uh, that are unique to people with criminal intent. Uh, and it's kind of recognized in the face. And this is all through data, of course, data mining and uh, through pictures of criminals and non-criminals. Anyway, the articles below, can, can, I can el eliminate it on the, some of that stuff. We also have uh, learning uh, capabilities like in the self-driven cars. Uh, the self-driven cars are learning to become better drivers as time goes on and there's more cars on the road doing testing. Um, we even uh, were able to have a computer win at uh, like super games like chess and more recently Go. That was last year, the game Go. Uh, but also, more even more recently, we had a computer beat a bunch of poker professionals in a week-long competition. And, and this is really important because, I mean, Go was a very, very... Uh, great achievement because that game has infinite almost infinite possibilities versus chess which has very limited so there's a, some intuition usually that we that we call in the game go that is needed with poker though this is a new game that you want uh you have imperfect information because the opponent is able to bluff and you you as a computer you can also bluff or not bluff so you have very uh, varied strategies that can use that is are not only based on data it's based on perception of the other players and whatnot so the computer was able to succeed at that and uh, you you have translation uh you have also uh computers able to uh watson and, and google voice and you have a bunch of computer ais that are able to recognize speech and even translate simultaneously uh very seamlessly now as well this is all simulation of humans but Put it all together, enhance it a little bit, and, uh, and all of a sudden, what you get is a computer that acts, behaves, understands, uh, and is, it works uh, a lot like a human would. So at what point are we uh, simulating humans versus creating an artificial or synthetic human? And at what point are we saying that this synthetic human actually has uh, some form of consciousness if you will or awareness of self because if if the synthetic human is able to detect all these things and able to interact like humans emotionally or not because you can s also have them simulate their own emotional 
uh, emotionality through just changing the tone of the computer's voice and the posture and and whatever else, if it's a robot, for example, you can do that. You can program that uh, robot to, to know, okay, now I should be angry and uh, be angry, for example. W when does it stop being synthetic, uh, start, stop being a simulation and, uh, and start being something more like a, like a synthetic human? I don't know where the boundary is, but, I mean, we are machines, biological machines, if you look at hu what humans are. We're able to process information. We're using. To, uh, we're able to learn and understand language. We're able to do all these things that we are creating robots and AI to do. Uh, and we say that we are conscious because we are uh, aware of ourselves. But what does that mean for us, right? I mean, it's um, we are aware of ourselves, but that's because our brain processes the information, and we tell ourselves that we are aware of ourselves. Um, if, a, if a computer is able to say I'm aware of myself and truly mean it in, in their own way, are they conscious? I mean, the spiritual individuals among you would say, well, you have to have a soul. Okay, that, that, like, there's no proof a soul even exists. Um, so scientifically, we don't know if machines can also have a soul. If I mean, maybe they have a soul. Like, how do you prove that they don't? Uh, so it's really becoming very interesting, and this is, I mean, this is what's going on now. This is rollouts by Google, by Watson, by other companies that are creating these simulated human aspects. That if and we we would be able to combine them together and make a synthetic human, or at least a, a, com a computer or a OS able to interact with us in a human manner. We're able to put it together. Within the next five years, we'll be able to do it. I guarantee you that. Uh, so we have to start thinking about how we're going to be interacting with these systems. And, uh, and it, I mean, there's no problem with it, but it's going to be interesting. Because we can de if we can develop human-like interactions with uh, you know, player characters in, in movies or, uh, or in games right now, and they are really using stupid AIs, and, and feel for them in a certain way, what will happen about our feelings and how will we re really react with these synthetic humans, if you will, or, or, or synthetic machines human -like, with human-like behaviors in the near future, we probably will start seeing them more like coworkers and friends in many ways, even though they are not organic, because they'll be behaving in a very human way. They'll be understanding us. They'll be, we'll be able to use them as sounding boards for our problems, for all, because they'll be able to know our tone of voice, our emotional state. They'll understand our language. They'll be able to respond. They'll be able to learn how we behave and what our patterns are. They'll be like our counselors and our workers and our, um, and uh, they'll be t completely computer generated. They'll be completely self-contained and learning and individual, uh, uh, just like individuals could. Very interesting times ahead. So I'd like to put this in your mind right now, uh, because it's coming. No matter what, <laughs> no matter how you feel about it, it's happening. So be ready. And if you are an opportunist like uh, like I am. You could get into this action and actually see it happen firsthand and help pushing this out because really exciting things can happen with the freedom of the actual biological humans whom do not want to work and do all sorts of tedious, tedious tasks. Imagine if we can create synthetic humans that would enjoy doing things that we don't want to do and they're just as efficient and human-like as we are in an in interaction kind of, a, kind of way. Very interesting times. So that's going to be it for the video now. Uh, but if you want me to talk about something uh, specific about, uh, about the subject or another subject, uh, share an idea, please comment below. Let me know. And also feel free to share and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more about this uh, and other interesting subjects similar to this. Uh, I will let you go now. Have a great uh, week, and I'll catch you next week for the next installment. Ciao for now.